Hello, Internet! And today is a very normal day. Well, I mean, I guess there's some sort of, um, at least a little bit of like an exciting thing that's been added to Epic 7. I'm not gonna lie, lately Epic 7 has been pretty stale. I'm not sure if it's just me. But yeah, there's not a lot of like new stuff, there's just not a lot of exciting stuff that I used to feel when I started the game. Oh gosh, is this what they call? Adulthood? But today we have Mortelix. Now he is already a living meme. I mean, no, he is a living legend. Nobody would think that he's useless. And now that SG has realized how great he is, they decided to make him overpowered by adding a very, very good exclusive equipment for him. For context, if you don't know what his EE does, you really shouldn't know. It's absolutely useless. The most useful one in my opinion is either the passive one or the S1 one. I would I would say most people would choose the S1 one. VZ EE makes him a little bit better, but doesn't really change anything. So this is my mort. He is on counter set. Brad, these are his stats. His, his stats are stupidly difficult to obtain. Right now, all these gears are somewhat of like average. And with average gear, I would expect to see like a pretty tanky Mortalix on like maybe once 70 speed, which, you know, we're pretty high off the mark. We've already 100 crit chance, which, yeah, we're not getting there at all. So yeah, his base stats isn't helping him at all, to be honest. At least to do what he needs to do. He needs to crit, he needs to do damage to, to like, do anything. He needs to also be tanky, high HP with high defense, or else he just dies. So yeah, he needs everything. Now this passive, it can be only activated once every two turns. Now with the EE, he grants crit, re uh, crit resistance for two total turns. So that means, if the star aligned and RNG says, you know what? Mortelix are really hot right now and I want to have you as my husband, then that means we will be able to proc this every time it is procable. And if it's procking every time it's procable, it's so hard to say that. That means he will be permanently increasing creative resistance on all of our allies. The, the, the buff duration is two turns, the cooldown is also two turns. So the moment the cooldown ends, you can buff it again. Today we have a guild war against Overdrive. It's like Overflow but less hentai. Overflow is such a Good show, dude. Start ending, boys. Fumbles is okay with it. If Fumbles wills it, I shall deliver. Round one. Daddy Boy is gonna bring his two daughters into a war. The opposing bird will try and burn my kid, but my kid is strong. We'll cleanse all the Vivos. The Lilius will try and hit Mort, which I have counter set on Mort, and they have dual attack into Mort, so there's more chance to counter attack there. The bird will keep on hitting Shu, which means I have chance to proc the Elvis Switcher Sword on Mort. The Ravi. Yeah, who cares about a Ravi? Round two! If I don't have speed, I lose. How's that? I have the power of Mama Kisa with me. You don't have a mom. I, I've got my mom, and mom's the most brilliant woman in the world. Damn, I'm so wholesome today. I don't know how, but I outspent the bird. It might stick them. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Kind of feisty, eh, bird? Don't touch my child. You dare touch my child. Okay. Is this fine? <laughs> is this not fine, is it? It's. Oh, it's alright. Just crit. Oh, you crutter. It's all right. No, it's not. Oh my God. Who is Ravi gonna hit? If Ravi hits Shu, it's gone. Oh, we have a play here. We do have a play. S1. If it crits, I can proc this. Okay. Listen here, you little shit. Mortelix. Crit on Ravi. Proc your passive. If you don't want to proc your passive, then proc her counterattack. So you take more damage and you take the nuke. No! Oh, please hit Mort. Please hit Mort. Please hit Mort. Oh, what? Heal up. Ooh, woo. I really don't want to do this. Because if I do this, there's literally no point in using board here. But I guess I have to do it. Well, this is definitely permanent crit hit resist now. <laughs> like, they, they are not critting today. <laughs> oh, you just have to do that, don't you? All right, it's all good. We can do this. Take the injury. Most people forget. I mean, it's more telling, so of course people forget. But yeah, he does have injury. <laughs> and heals up too. Right, can you stop? <laughs> Hello? Nani Deska, but it's all right. A lot of people forget as well, including me, myself. But Shu actually heals on us too. So all I have to do, sober this, and boom, that's a dead rabbit. That's, that's no way I'm killing that. <laughs> oh, I got close, right? It's like what? 50% HP off the mark. Where's counter? There we go, that's one counter. Boom, no defense break? All right, man. How about defense breaking now? All right, yes, there's a defense break. Counter attack. All right, no crit, there we go. Oh, now, now we probably this too. Boom, there we go. Two more turns of crit hit resist. We're not, you're not hitting straight. All right, that's not cool though. That's really not cool. Everybody's about to get murdered. Do we have this? Yeah, we do. I forgot, if we have full focus, this reset. So, hey, now die. 
Why are we not healing? Do we heal? I, I can't even tell. Counter attack, come on. Yeah, we're really useful right now. Oh, that though, yeah. Right, just proc counters. Just counter so this video is even the least relevant to you. You better counter this. There's three targets to proc Elbrus with, and you have counter set. All right. He's just listening. He's listening. All right, now, now you're provoked. Okay. All right, gotta be me. Oh, there we go. Literally permanent crit hit resist. As I said, it's actually happening. Well, I mean, oh no, the enemy can just, you know, crit anyway. I have two turns already. I really should not have done this, but who cares? But yeah, this buffs us crit hit resist as well. So unlimited crit hit resistance. How about this? Even more than the end. Take counter. Ooh, whoa. Burp is gonna strip me now. The burp is gonna strip my kid. You dare. Ah. What does Sorbin do again? Increases damage. Yo, let's see how painful this could be. <laughs> it's not going to be painful. Damn, bro. Insane. All right, counter. Take counter. Crit. Crit right now. Oh, ah. how did you not kill that? Just how? That's how little you're doing, Mort. <laughs> I hope you know that. Oh, counter. That's the first time we're talking. That through like, you know, a single time. Oh, oh, all right. Okay, someone, someone's not having my this. He's trying to impress someone here. Mm, I wonder who. Right, listen now. Listen. Thank God I didn't finish what I said because if I said, I would have jinxed it. There we go. Okay, more telex. And infinite, pretty much infinite crit hit uh, resistance. If only crit hit resistance worked as intended. You know, like proccing a lot more than it should. But if you're using crit resistance on your end, yeah, ah shit, ain't working. And I just realized this, this is so unsettling. Why is Kisei's chest half transparent? What? Hello? Yeah, you can see the scythe. You can see the scythe behind it. What, what? Is this 2030? We got transparent boobs now? Right, that murders you. <laughs> Mama Kise out speeding like an actual mom when I get bad grades. Now Lunarka, disintegrate him and his child. Right, we did out speed. Now the reason why I went for this team that makes absolutely no sense because Rada can possibly take one or two out of uh, my cop here is because I want to do this over. Why? Because Mama Kise is hot. Watch me crit this. Nope. I am not liking my own decisions. Okay, I need to hit you four more times. Only four more times. <laughs> four more times. I need to hit you once, that's it, right? It's not that hard. I swear if the one time is this time, okay, it's not. Right, it's fine, it's absolutely fine. Now I have the attack buff. That was without the attack buff. So now the Sorbet should do a lot more than, you know, usual. Nope. Okay, all right, RNL? R, R, no, no, all right, okay. I trust you, butterfly. I shouldn't have trust you, butterfly. Hit Jim Perkins, oh! <laughs> Ah! Ryan lit more like Ryan go hit a dog. Right now you die. Got him. Ooh, ooh. Not close at all, bro. There we go. We have defeated FWCZ. I'm not following the war plan well. I need to start in tank. You guys really hitting the stronghold? Where are your owner, bro? He probably just started playing. Round one. This is one of the most, no, the least making sense team that I've ever put together, probably. This team has no synergy. It's so simple that it's honestly disgusting. <laughs> Kisa is gonna go S3 onto Ravi. We're gonna proc Iron down and S1 onto Ravi. If that does not kill her, we do top of the Lurka S2 S3 into Ravi. If that does not kill her, I'm calling hacks and I'm gonna report this guy. And I swear I should take a turn. S2 S3, kill off the child. <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't have to remind you, but I've done a guide about how you can murder Chow's top five brutal ways to do that, and one of it is Serbia. Now go watch that video. It's not exactly what you think it is. It's not the meta normal shitty guide that most people would do, but yeah, it's a, it's a good watch, but not a lot of people watch it. I'm pretty sad. They probably thought I was actually that out of content that I'm actually doing a proper guide about how to deal with Chow's. I won't ever do that shit. Round two, <laughs> Dad and Mars gonna bring another two of his daughter into war. More tellers, the owner of a lot of daughters. It'll be the same thing. They have a lot of like, kind of DPS-ish, kind of not, kind of not really, yes, no, I don't know. We have a lot of immunity. We have cleanse, so if Serato does anything, we can cleanse it off with Mei. We have anti-crit on Shu. We also have anti-crit on Mortelic, so the LQC has 50% chance to do one off. <laughs> because, you know, she can always just crit. Working as intended. Let's go, Kero Shan. Here we go. As planned, we're gonna iron out right here. Right, Kisei? Damn it! 
but it's absolutely fine. But honestly though, I really need to like bring this up. Did you guys know like she's half transparent there? It's so unsettling. I don't know. I don't understand why. Why is this a thing? No! Is my waifu all fake? That's what the game's trying to tell me. Anything but that. It should send you into... Oh no. no. <gasps> Trails! Trails, stop! stop. <laughs> you almost done me a fucking counterattack. I don't even know I have so much build actually. I'm very far fetched with my own account. I'm not sure why. It's not like I play counter side too much. You know, like, pro I know for once I've never seen you do that. Okay, man. This should take a while. Oh, what's this? Let me just do that. This goes. I can just counter and work and get the crit and proc the passive right here. Yeah, that's not happening, is it? I'll be fine as I just don't target May Chloe. I mean, L2C doesn't target May Chloe, but it looks like she will be. <laughs> if she actually don't you dare crit. Why you bully me? No! Oh, 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 this is, <laughs> this is not good. Uh oh, so bad. This is so bad. Damn it, anti crit! You failed me one too many times. All right. We have a shot here. This heals me up, right? It's not even healing increasing proportions of damage dealt. It's just increasing towards the max HP. But I guess, you know what? That's quite a bit of HP there. Okay, so hit you. Crit that. Don't you. Ah, no, 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 no. That's so bad. Don't get out to sit. Don't you. Ah! I can revive him. I should be able to revive him. I'm going to believe. This should kill you absolutely. There we go. Why are you not dead? <laughs> You're shitting on me, but yeah, there you go. One more turn. It's okay, I got one more turn. All right, anti-crit. We should be safe now. Come on, bring back more telex, I swear to God. All right, this provoke should do nothing. Here we go. Two more turns. I have the sober next turn, though. No? Let me just stun you. All right, I can just murder off the Lilius. There we go. Damn, she was carrying this. Oh, I sobered here. Yeah, there we go. We saved more telex. Are we saving more telex? Will he just come back and die? I swear. <laughs> come on. You can, you can survive this, Mort. I believe in you. Okay, all right. I think he would have died, actually. Oh, if I defense spray, 50%. If I defense <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, Mort. You better don't. <laughs> what? Yes! <laughs> ERC Zerato. What? I don't know how I made it out of this, but... Shoo. I give you my newfound respect. Jeez, that was pretty damn good. The great Mortellix, the guy that needs two of his daughters to support him. All right, round one. I call this comp, inject the mana into your mama comp. Well, I don't really explain this, do I? Round two. This is called, this comp is called the Mortellix stress test. With his newfound EE, he should have supple ability to keep having crit resistance and to keep countering and to keep healing up with S3. It should happen. Here we go. Nox Legend XYT. Are you, are you a YouTuber? Well, if you are, I know, it, it's painful, huh? Trying to, you know, build 10 new units every day. Step one, we're gonna prove that our MILF is better than their MILF because there's a stripper. And for that, Mama Key say, you shall nuke the other whore off. I'm speaking like really vulgar these days. Now, inject the mana into the mama. And this should kill all of you. Boom. Got him. Oh, this cup is so beautiful. There's a reason why I like name that, you know, inject your mana into your mama thing. First of all, it's really lewd. Daddy Mortalix. With S3, let's go. Oh yeah, it does injury though. That's that's something. I swear if you get crit three times in a row. <laughs> Alright, counterattack. Well, guess what? More okay, alright, Mortalix! He's doing it! He's doing it! He's actually doing it! Yo, I can't believe it! Iron Nell, you procked it more than my freaking key sack. Alright, this one hits. Counter! Counter! <laughs> I now have unhealable though. This isn't exactly great. This key sack can literally kill me right now. Murder. Oh. Oh, 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 you better miss this. Okay, you missed it. Counter, 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 counter! Am I about to get bonked to death by a goddamn Angelica? I swear to god, my mental fortitude is not strong enough to take this. No. Mort. 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 Listen, Mort. Come on, you can do this. Don't get crit again! 69 HP! You're gonna survive at 69 HP too! Everything about you is a meme. Now! Now we won't get bonked to death, although there's a deep, deep part of me really wanting to see an Angelica bonking Mortalix to death. Let that just sink in for a bit. I almost just got bonked to death 
by goddamn Angelica. Right now, he'll back up. Right now, you're looking at him, you're like, damn, he can solo a team. He's doing way worse than what he's supposed to, but yes, you're correct. He can he can solo this team. This is one of the, this has really been one of the most fun videos I've made for some reason. Alright, here we go. Got him. We have done it. Mortalix have murdered a lot of women. And there you go, that was Mortalix with the new EE, with the only special one being this one, because the, the S3 one's just increasing damage, the S1 one is just 10% extra chance to decrease defense, which is actually, I would say, the go-to one. It's either that or the passive one, honestly. The passive one, you need to get lucky to proc it, and it's honestly not that worth it. Considering anti-crit, it never works when it's on your end. It's like, you know, you need to hope for it to proc firstly, and once you proc it, you need to hope for it to work, and you need to hope that the enemy is not smart enough to just let you have the anti-crit without stripping it, and let me tell you that's not gonna happen. And the fact that he's that stat hungry, the fact that you absolutely need him to have a 100% crit chance, and you absolutely need him to be on counter set pretty much, or else, you know, he won't be doing as much as one, which means he won't be progging as much passive. His CE not really helping him doing anything really. A surefire way to make him like, decent though. Perhaps add something to his kit to decrease his cooldown on S3. Perhaps add this to 50%. That might be too good though. Nah, honestly though, it's not. I don't think so. This will make him usable, but it's not like he's insane insane. Make this 50% on one condition. Some sort of condition. Maybe if he hits an enemy that has buff, and every time he prods the, the passive, you get minus one turn cooldown off of S3. That'll make him cycle faster, that'll make him injure quicker, so that the injury actually does something, instead of just taking 22 turns to just kill one unit off. Yeah, that was all for today, if you like this, is gonna channel hyper still so wonderful day, and if you have, um, like, you know, requested for a certain unit, unit to showcase, like, on real builds, I have only one account, which I can only do too much, uh, that much with it. I have to spend my resources well, it's not like I want to go completely completely off meta I have to like you know build the proper units too I'm not insane in the game anyway but yeah I'll do my best so just just have faith the one guy that said counter dingo was it blood Z? yeah blood Z, no don't don't just say you're gonna give up <laughs> Never give up, bro. This is the anime, you know, go-to sentence. Never give up, bro. But yeah, I'll work on, I'll work on all of the units that you guys have been telling me to um, showcase. Just, just trust me. Look at my Chloe. Yeah, now you have no reason to doubt me. You've already looked at my Chloe. And yeah, take care.